Blazoneers and Blazonettes, um, I, this has been on my mind for quite a bit, I've been meaning to do this video for quite a while, but I wanted to talk about the strain on FX. <laughs> wow, it's been, <laughs> it's been a while since I did that, like, wow. <laughs> Um, the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because, um, is it me or does it seem off that, um, we have not gotten a t not so much as a teaser for Season 3? Um, I figured we would have had one by now because, um, summer is, like, around the corner and that's when it should, you know, that's when the new season should start. So, I mean... I remember last year for season two, they had a teaser, you know, up for like around February or near March, and then a full trailer like um within like like April or May, and then you know like well what's up FX? I mean like um I thought you renewed the show for another season, and um and we don't get nothing, no not a thing. It's just like it just went off the grid after season two, um. I mean, I will admit that, um, season one, um, I mean, like, I was like, this is the scariest, you know, show I've ever, that I've ever watched. You know, like, from the way they, um, you know, from the way the, the vampires were, um, like, the, the way the vampires were in, in, in season one, I mean, they were scary as hell. Like, they were very mysterious, and they... And you didn't know when that was gonna happen, and you didn't know like um, it's like it just it just kept you it kept you looking over your shoulder every time. I mean, like you you felt the threat, and you know, like literally, you know, like from especially in the first half of season one. I mean, it, it is ridiculous, and and the whole time you didn't see the master's face, and it just kept kept the hood on over his face, and you know, like it just kept you guessing like what does this motherfucker look like and you know it's just like when you finally see his face you're just like what <laughs> and um and you know and even though um one thing that did one thing did throw me off of season one was when you know that sword you know when that eclipse happened like earlier on in, in the season i thought it would happen like n towards the end like the season finale and i thought it was gonna stay that way for realsies i thought it was gonna stay that way and and that way the vampires would stay will come out at any time you know any time they want, and um, it'd be like thirty days of night, but much much worse. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, and I found myself actually um, you know like liking some of the characters. You know even F. You know like at that time I you know I thought he was cool. You know him and Nora and. Fett and you know Cedric Keem is my boy and 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 that year I thought Zach was a pretty cool kid and um and uh and you know and Gus I thought he was a badass and um even though he 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 kind of he kind of stood on his own he he wasn't really a part of that gang you know it was sort of like a separate storyline for him in a way but um. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, season one was great, you know, like, it, it was scary, it scared the fuck out of me. But when season two comes around, um, it seems like what scared me about season, about the strain, it seems like that all watered down. I'm not saying it was really hateful, but it was really, really slow. Like, it had a lot of slow moments, and, I mean, there were moments in there, there were episodes of season two that I did like, but when I saw the vampires, I mean, it just didn't... I didn't feel that, I didn't feel that fear factor anymore. I just felt like, oh, okay, there goes a vampire. Oh, okay. But the only time I would freak out is when I think a, um, a lead, you know, a lead character is gonna, you know, like, which lead character is gonna die this season? You know, I, I would just be afraid for them. Like, oh, crap. <laughs> you know? And I, I had fears for Nora and Fett and and Dutch. I mean, those were the three ones I had, you know, feared for. <laughs> Especially Dutch when I course, you know, abducted her. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm glad she made it through that, you know, like, you know, so far. <laughs> and Nora. Oh, man. I'm still on that. Fuck you, Zach. I mean, like, man. 
I mean, he just he just handed Nora over on a silver platter just by yelling, "Ma!" or or or, "No, don't do it!" And and then you know that caught Nora off guard, and then you know um, vampire killing and just had to kill my home girl. Like, come on. And F, I mean, he became very dislikable, you know, like in that season also. I mean, like, what? I mean, like, what really made me dislike him is how, you know, he went to Washington, D.C. Or, or whatnot, and then he's fucking another chick. While Nora is trying to keep Zack safe back in New York. I mean, come on. I mean, even if you guys didn't, you know, officially, you know, be a, become a couple, you, I figured you, you became closer, but... You know, I mean, this woman is going out of her way to make sure your son's safe, and then you're over here banging some, you know, like some other chick. I mean, like, come on, get it together, bro. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Um, I felt that season one was definitely superior to season two, and um, I don't know. The fact that we haven't not seen anything about season three yet makes me wonder if <laughs> FX changed their minds. Well, they probably didn't, but. I just find it really off that we have not got any anything, no teasers, no nothing, not a thing about season three. But yeah, um, share your thoughts down below. What do you think about this whole no season three advertisement? And um, what which season did you think was better, season one or season two? Um, and if you enjoyed this um, little topic, um, thumb up the video. Make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>